the problem I have with English teachers that are not native English speakers. Many times I've seen them teach phrases that no one uses. They're probably googling uncommon phrases in English. The issue is they're so uncommon, if one of these students uses it with a native speaker, they'll have no idea what they're talking about. That's why it's so important to have a native English speaker to make you speak fluently and like a native. Here's a problem I have with English teachers that are not native English speakers. Many times I've seen them teach phrases that no one uses. They're probably googling uncommon phrases in English. The issue is they're so uncommon, if one of these students uses it with a native speaker, they'll have no idea what they're talking about. That's why it's so important to have a native English speaker to make you speak fluently and like a native. If a native speaker does not understand a phrase which is uncommon, how much of a native speaker can you even be? If a native speaker does not understand a phrase which is uncommon, how much of a native speaker can you even be? If a native speaker does not understand a phrase which is uncommon, how much of a native speaker can you even be? If a native speaker does not understand a phrase which is uncommon, how much of a native speaker can you even be?